What's happening, film nerds? Dave the Film Junkie here. The Jared Leto Suicide Squad Disappointment 2016 tour continues. First thing down below, guys, I'm going to read a quote from a fan when uh, he was doing a Q&A section, uh, doing a little Q&A session at the Camp Mars that he's uh, holding right now. Uh, you can see what the fan said. I'll read it off. But uh, you can also see the video where he also says, fuck him. Yeah, he's saying that to Warner Brothers because there's a eh, there's something in his contract that prohibits him from doing dangerous activities such as rock climbing. And if you want, if you look at his social media, he still does that. Yeah, he doesn't care. So that was his answer. Fuck him. And he's a little he's still a little livid about what's going on with Suicide Squad and how his scenes were cut out and and uh, pretty much just not not feeling too good. But yeah, you can see that video. And this is what a fan had to say. Uh, the fan said he was very honest about the film this week and his disappointment in what he's learned of the theatrical cut. He's still not seen the film. I think he's one of those method actors generally do not like to see, watch themselves. Um, feeling sort of tricked into being a part of something that had been pitched to him very differently. Thinking it uh, would have been more artistic than what it became. Feeling overwhelmed by the hate regarding the look and choices. And this is what sucks because I asked this on my Twitter. What if... Um, what if he decides not to do it again? You know, this is what sucks. As much as he had fun with it, but now he's, you know, a lot of people didn't like his Joker because his Joker didn't have time to breathe. You know what I wish they would do, actually, instead of doing an extended cut and adding his scenes? Just do a Joker short film. Take all the footage of him, which is probably like a half an hour or so, splice it all together, and attach it to the Blu-ray. So you get like a Joker point of view of the Suicide Squad story. Why not? Do that, Warner Brothers! I just solved it for you! You're not going to listen to me. Nobody listens to me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, wow, that would be awesome with that. But, I mean, I can understand. I mean, when you're pitched something and then you basically become this character and you go through a process of becoming the character and then they cut out, like, 90% of your scenes, 80%, whatever the fuck it is. That sucks. And he's very picky about his roles. And this is a big role for him. I mean, this is an icon. I mean, this is a character that's been around for, like, decades. And uh, they kind of cheesed him with it, so I can understand his disappointment. And uh, I, I would understand if he didn't, if he decided not to do it again. And that's what sucks. So Warner Brothers might have fucked up again. They might lost, they might have lost their Joker unless Affleck can just like totally pull him back in, which he could, because I could totally see an Affleck Leto face to face scene, just like Bale and Ledger that fucking interrogation scene. I could see something like that with both of them, and it being really intense and taken to the next level. So who knows? It sucks that this is happening. Yeah. Oh, well. But let me know your thoughts about it down below. And like I said, first thing down below, if you want to go check out the video and uh, reread that quote, let me know your thoughts, guys. Talk to you later. And thank you for watching, you beautiful people. You go ahead and hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to my other channel, too. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and visit filmjunkie.com for all my videos.